to call upon my chaplain to say prayers. Thank you. It's been a privilege to serve as chaplain over the last couple of years. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for an easing of restrictions from the COVID pandemic and successful vaccine program enabled through our town hall. We thank you for the new Congleton bypass just mentioned and all the challenges overcome during this past year. We pray for the challenges ahead facing our mayor, deputy mayor, councillors and town hall staff and ask for your continued blessing and guidance for them in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Andrew. Um, just a quick mention that it has been agreed that throughout this entire meeting uh, of the uh, mayor making ceremony, officers making announcements will remain seated. Okay, that moves me swiftly on to item one, which is the election of town mayor for the ensuing year. So I'd like to call upon nominees for the election of town mayor for 2021. Councillor Firkin. Councillor Firkin. Councillor Firkin. Very much, Madam Mayor. Uh, Councillor Murphy is a much loved and respected member of the Congleton community. Generous, open and approachable, he works tirelessly to make Congleton a great place to live through all of his voluntary work and his work as a councillor. This has continued during his year as Deputy Mayor and many have appreciated his cheery outlook and encouraging words, whether that be at the Town Hall Vaccination Centre, where he's been prominent as a volunteer, or in his formal role as Deputy Mayor during this most difficult of times. In December 2015, Congleton Town Council voted to make Dennis an honorary Burgess in recognition of his distinguished service to the town as a former councillor. This was a title and role that Dennis accepted and took seriously and will no doubt do so again in the future when his serving councillor term finishes. But those days are not yet over as the people of Congleton elected him to serve them again in 2019 for four more years, both as Congleton Town and a Cheshire East councillor. Dennis has previously served as town mayor in both 2008 to nine and 2014 to 15. We know the role will be in safe hands for 2021-22 he has always described being mayor as the best job in town, and he was also the first mayor to introduce the role of mayor's cadet, a lovely way of engaging with the youth groups in the town. With his love of Congleton and wealth of experience and expertise, I can think of no better person to nominate for mayor for the ensuing year, and I would like to propose Councillor Dennis Murphy to be mayor for the civic year of 2021 to 2022. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Firkin. Um, do we have a seconder? Uh, yes, Madam Mayor. Um, I would like to second the proposal. Um, I would like to say a few words, if I may. Um, Council Murphy has long been a staunch supporter of many resident organisations within our town. He's also a great advocate of the town, Congleton Town Council. There it is, is with much pleasure that I second the nomination of Councillor Murphy by Councillor Firkin to be our next Mayor of Congleton. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Chadwick. Uh, are there any further areas of support that councillors would like to put forward? No, okay, uh, if everybody's okay, then we'll go straight to the vote. Uh, I just have to ask if there are any further nominations before that, actually. It appears not. Okay, so if you could all vote, please. Okay. Clear. okay, thank you very much. That's unanimous. Thank you very much indeed, Madam Mayor. Well done, Mr. Mayor. Okay, just to, we're going to retire now for a short break while we switch over. Um, just to make you aware, uh, it has been agreed between myself and um, Councillor Murphy that he, I would wear the robes in this short, brief part. Obviously, we can't get them cleaned in a specific time to allow Dennis to wear them, but he was in agreement with that. So we'll retire now for an adjourn for a short period. Thank you. There you go.
You're not mute. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening, uh, everyone. Can you all hear me? Good. Thank you. Splendid. Um, it's now my duty to uh, read and sign the statutory declaration. I, Dennis Murphy, having been elected to the Office of Mayor on this day, the 6th of May, 2021, hereby declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it in accordance with the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to observe the members code of conduct adopted by the council and associated protocols in the performance of my function of that office. I'm now handing it to the uh, town clerk for uh, his counter signature. I'll, sign, I'll be signing it later. That's it. Um, my consort this year will be Joan Myatt. This is Joan Myatt who is sitting down here just to my left. Uh, she has been my consort in my two previous terms of office and I assure you that without her help and support, I would not have been able to do that duty uh, as well as I think I did. So thank you very much indeed, Joan. Um, Joan has already received uh, the chain of office, so there is no uh, further procedure there. I think now... Yep. Item two. Item two, which is a vote of thanks for the retiring town mayor. Councillor Hayes. Uh, thank you, Chief Officer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, may I first of all extend my congratulations to you upon your appointment to the prestigious office of mayor. I know from previous experience of how you will be a great advocate and figurehead for our community both within Congleton and our neighbouring towns alike. Mr Mayor, as well as congratulating you and wishing you every success for your mayoral year, I would also like to propose the vote of thanks to our outgoing Mayor, Councillor Sally Holland. I'm sure you'll agree that Councillor Holland has worked tirelessly over the course of the last two municipal years to represent Congleton. First, introducing us to the adventures and escapades of Mayor Bear and more recently providing the stability and consistency for our council and community as we have adapted to the forced changes of the pandemic. I believe that the breadth of leadership that we have seen and experienced from Councillor Holland is indeed testament to her skill and personality. Being able to celebrate and recognise successes within our thriving community, whilst also able to lead us in mourning following the recent death of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, and through times of reflection with regard to the impact of the pandemic, which continues to be seen and experienced. As well as providing civic leadership to our community and extending our presence and representation across towns and communities in Cheshire and North Staffordshire, House Hond has also been forced to lead the new frontier of virtual meetings and work of this council over more recent times. Despite the challenges this can and has presented, I'm sure that colleagues would agree with me as to the patience and consideration Councillor Holland has approached this task with, ensuring that due process remains followed and continuing a fair approach towards the accessibility and engagement of members, officers and the public alike. Regardless of wearing the mayoral chain, I would personally reflect upon the significant contribution that Councillor Holland makes as a councillor both in Congleton Town and more broadly in Cheshire East. I think it's also important to recognise how this can often be at the expense of time with family and friends. So I also extend our thanks and appreciation 
to David, Arabella and Felix for their understanding and forbearance for the extended period of the mayoral role and continuing role as both a town and borough councillor. Mr Mayor, I know that I am not alone in recognising how I class Councillor Holland as a valued and experienced colleague as well as a good friend. I hope that she is able to personally reflect upon the strength and achievements she has again brought to the role of Mayor, take time to focus upon family and friends and recalibrate her commitment towards serving our community. Mr Mayor, I so propose our vote of thanks to Councillor Holland as the outgoing Mayor for her continued service. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hayes. Uh, Do you have a seconder? For the um, yes, uh, Councillor Douglas. Uh, Mr Mayor, I would like to second a vote of thanks to the retiring town mayor. It seems a long time since we saw Councillor Sally Holland take office as our town mayor. Probably because it was. Uh, Sally Holland, in her double term, worked tirelessly uh, uh, keeping up the morale of our residents during this difficult time of the pandemic and deserves our warmest thanks. I should also like to thank Mayor Bear for helping uh, Sally Holland throughout these last two years by bringing a much needed smile to everyone's faces. I would uh, like to propose, uh, sorry, second, the vote of thanks to the retiring town mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Um, uh, the town mayor, uh, as town mayor, I'm announcing that um, to conform with protocols, uh, the retiring town mayor, Sally, has received her uh, former town mayor's medallion, so there will be no formal presentation at this time. Uh, I now call upon uh, Councillor Holland to uh, uh, respond, if I may. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and can I formally congratulate you on your new appointment? Thank you very much indeed, Councillor Holland. And can I also say many, many thanks for those beautiful words from both Councillor Hayes and Councillor Douglas. Very, very kind of you. So much so that I'm going to struggle to make this uh, speech, actually. Um, so heartfelt and, and very much appreciated. So I'd like to take this opportunity to say a few words and pass on some thanks. Firstly, I'd like to thank my consort, David Holland. Without his unwavering support, I should have failed miserably. I suspect a well-deserved break is in the pipeline, maybe in the motorhome, uh, for all his efforts, especially as the author of the Mayor Bear Post, which I hope people found informative and sometimes amusing. May I also thank the Mayor's Secretary, Linda Mitchell, whose knowledge of civic regalia and protocol is unmatched and when carrying out the role of Mayor to its full breadth and potential is essential. Thanks also go to my cadet, Eloise Williams, who has been a complete delight and such a support throughout this extended term of office. COVID has thrown many obstacles at us and Eloise has taken them in her stride. Despite having her GCSEs to deal with, she continued this year as my cadet. I am very, very grateful to her for fulfilling that in such circumstances. Thanks also go to my chaplain, Andrew Lindley, who has offered much support and guidance throughout. His spiritual blessings have been very much appreciated and he has checked in on me regularly to check if I was okay, which I found extremely endearing. So thank you for that, Andrew. I would also like to applaud my Deputy Mayor, Councillor Dennis Murphy, for his unrelenting patience during this uncertain time that COVID presented to us. Dennis never faltered and I'm so pleased that his term of office will be full of events and functions and I have no doubt that he will be uh, will complete it with professionalism and will be eager to be out and about meeting people and supporting all the many organisations, businesses and events, etc. with his consort, Ben Myers. Thanks also go to David McGifford, our Chief Officer, and the whole Town Hall and street, Streetscape teams who have continued to work continuously during the pandemic, all by, albeit in a very different way. I would also like to share my appreciation to fellow councillors who have been extremely supportive Firstly, during my initial nine to 10 months of my term, and also during COVID, where much work was done to assist many residents after they came to terms with lockdown. It has been a fantastic opportunity to represent Congleton as town mayor for the past two years, and which I have wholeheartedly embraced. I managed to fit some fundraising activities in before the pandemic struck, and I'd like to thank all the companies and friends and family members who either helped or supported those events. 
Special thanks to the 12 companies that sponsored my school calendar fundraiser, and in particular, Dominic Clotford from Town Hall Studios Photography, who once again took substantial amounts of time out of his busy schedule, volunteering his time to capture wonderful images for individual schools, enabling us to produce some great calendars. Parents, grandparents, friends, and family alike purchased many calendars from all the many schools that took part. So my sincere thanks to him. Thanks also go to my uh, many local companies that donated gifts, vouchers to be raffled or auctioned off as prizes at my Bears Ball and other events. Sadly, of course, my Mayor's Ball, Charity Golf and Walking event all got cancelled, along with the annual triathlon. But despite this, I managed to raise over £6,600, £1,200 of which was from the Mayor Bear Raffle alone. It's always great to raise funds and I look forward to distributing my main bulk of funds split between my two worthy charities, Vision, a uh, children's mental health charity, which I'm sure you will agree post-COVID will be very... Uh, be an invaluable service. And my other benefactor is the League of Friends at Congleton and Macclesfield Hospitals. Again, a very worthy cause, especially with the impact of COVID. The schools will be receiving monies from the calendar sales. Some highlights of my term in office were introducing Mayor Bear to Congleton, opening the first Congleton Pride event, enjoying seeing the council evolve and take on all the challenges of COVID. An active and engaged council is important for our town to prosper and expand its outlook. I felt very humbled by our fantastic bank of volunteers, and I'd like to thank each and every one of them, from the hubbers to the sewers to the vaccinators, and the list goes on too many to mention, but tremendous, tremendous thanks. At the beginning of my term of office, I was thrilled to attend so many events, in particular those of the theatre, and I'm looking forward to seeing all these events return, and to hope our in-bloom efforts are rewarded again too soon so, and get back on track. So that just leads me to say a, a huge thanks to everybody. It's been a pleasure. It, it's been a long journey, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've just got one last request. I'd like to request our cadet to come forward and say a few words. Thank you very much. I would just like to say a few words before my time as cadet comes to an end. Firstly, thank you, Madam Mayor, for involving me in your work. Thank you to all the councillors, to Linda, and all associated with the council for helping me to carry out my duties and for making me feel so welcome. Over the past two years, I've accompanied the Mayor to over 40 events. It's been an opportunity to meet people in the community and to learn about the work of the local government, particularly that of the Mayor. It has also been an opportunity to explain what we do at Compton Rangers and the Girl Guides organisation. Hopefully, this may have encouraged others to join the Girl Guides movement, which I've always found enjoyable and worthwhile. During my time as cadet, I've been proud to represent Girl Guiding and the wider youth of Compton. I'm sure that Tom, as the new cadet, will enjoy the role as much as I have. Thank you, and lastly, I would like to extend my congratulations to Councillor Murphy for becoming mayor. Thank you very much indeed. Um, splendidly uh, uh, spoken, if I may say so. Thank you very much. Um, the, uh, it gives me the opportunity to mention now that um, uh, my cadet for this coming year is uh, out of shot at the moment and is going to remain so, but he will be very prominent in all the activities that we have for the coming year. He is uh, Tom Gilman and he is a representative of the Dane Valley uh, Scout Group. And he is a, correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, are you, you are a, a, a Ranger Scout. Explorer Scout. Thank you very much indeed for accepting the office, Tom. Uh, he has already received um, his uh, medallion as uh, the Mayor's Cadet for the forthcoming year. Um, I'll take this opportunity uh, now, with uh, the Town Clerk's permission, to uh, just say a few words about uh, the Office of Mayor. Uh, I'd like to uh, do a little bit of uh, history, if I may. Do I have a few moments? Uh... You're the Mayor. Right, thank you. Um, we have a, a very important celebration this year, the 750th anniversary of the Charter. 
which we'll all support and hope it's a great success. Um, the mayorality in Congleton is not quite as old. The first mayor was appointed in 1318. So if those of you who are mathematically minded will know that that was 703 years ago. So in that time, there have been uh, some splendid things going on and some terrible things going on. And it might interest people to know that um, the office of mayor is not something that everybody um, wants to fulfill, shall we say. Um, and of course, unforeseen circumstances, uh, there are periods when one individual held office for quite a considerable length of time. For example, uh, between 1858 and 1903, that's 44 years, there were only 17 people who were mayor of Congleton in those 44 years. Same thing happened between 1903 and 1946, again, 17 people. Then again, between 1980 and 2014, that was 36 years, it was only 12 people were mayors of Congleton. Uh, enough of that, but it might give you some idea that perhaps uh, not everybody wants to step up and be the mayor of Congleton. Or you could say that it's such a wonderful job that once people get into it, they don't want to give it up. So um, enough of that, I'd like to now go on with the meeting. Um, may I now ask you to uh, do item number three, the apologies for absence, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Apologies have been received from Councillor Jean Parry. Thank you very much indeed. Um, now, next item on the agenda is a nomination for the election of Deputy Town Mayor for the forthcoming year. I believe we have a nomination, uh, Councillor Brown. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations on your appointment. I'm sure you'll enjoy it equally as much as you have on the previous occasions. Mr. Mayor, it's with a great privilege and honour that I propose Councillor Margaret Garside as Deputy Mayor for the Civic Year of 2021-22. I've known Margaret for over a decade as a colleague on Congleton in Bloom and her involvement in many projects developed in the town. Her work in, in the early years of forming the partnership and her work with Margaret Williamson was exemplary. Getting grants for a park and uh, the, all, all the pathways around our local river. I believe she was one of the founder members of the sustainability group, something she's taken an active part in now since she's been elected as a council. Margaret is a person with strong convictions and views. I will note for you all that we don't always agree on everything. But one thing about Margaret is that we always end up with a consensus. She's a very determined lady and that was exemplified by the fact how she put, a, put herself back to the test and back into her community work and her voluntary work following her recent operation. She's a tireless worker, compassionate, inclusive, an exceptional volunteer. In fact, during the summer, she was delivering school meals faster than Deliveroo. I believe she will be an excellent ambassador for the town council and have no hesitation in proposing Councillor Margaret Garside as Deputy, Deputy Mayor for the Civic Year of 21-22. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Councillor Brown. Do we have a seconder for that proposal? Yes, Mr. Mayor, we do. And I'd like to add my congratulations to those of Councillor Brown to, for your own appointment. I'd like to second the proposal of Councillor Gottside as Deputy Mayor. Margaret Gottside has been a councillor for just two years, but before that, she's given many years of service to Congleton, working with schools and young people, with Congleton Sustainability Group, and as a volunteer with Congleton in Bloom, amongst her many other contributions. Councillor Gottside has led the charge in our climate emergency efforts as a very able chair of Congleton Green Working Group, and I'm sure will bring all of her considerable work ethic, 
energy and intellect to the role. So I hereby second the proposal of Councillor Gartside as Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Councillor Wesley. Um, are there any further nominations? No. Thank you. In that case, can I ask the councillors to please vote on the motion? Thank you very much indeed. Um, well, can I ask the uh, Deputy Town Mayor to please to take her seat. Um, the complying with regulations, the uh, badge of office has already been uh, sanitized and has hand been handed over, but she will not put it on just at the moment. Okay, please go ahead. <clears throat> I, Margaret Gartside, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor on this day, the 6th of May, 2021, hereby declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to observe the Members' Code of Conduct adopted by the Council and associated protocols in the performance of my functions in that office. Um, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank all the councillors who elected me to the role of Deputy Mayor of Congleton for the coming year. It's a privilege and honour to be elected to this position, and I will endeavour to serve Congleton to the best of my ability in what promises to be an interesting and exciting period in the history of the town. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Councillor um, Right, uh, we move on straight away. Item number five on the agenda, council committees. Um, I'd like to call for a proposal for the constitution of the committees and its members. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would like uh, to propose the constitution and membership of the committees as follows. The Finance and Policy Committee, with 10 members, consists of councillors Duncan Ames, Brown, Chadwick, Douglas, Duffy, Hayes, Morton, Acker Smith, Parry and Smith. Personnel Committee, which consists of 10 members, consists of councillors Brown, Allen, Martin Ames, Chadwick, Helmsley, Martin, Holland, Douglas, Smith, and Wesley. Town Hall and Assets and Services Committee, which consists of 10 members, uh, consists of councillors Duncan Ames, Martin Ames, Acker Smith, Hayes, Allen, Brown, um, Firkin, Hemsley, Douglas, and Chadwick. The Planning Committee, which also consists of 10 members, um, is councillors Duncan Ames, Douglas, Duffy, Firkin, Hemsley, Martin, Parry, Rogan, Smith, and Wesley. Uh, the Community and Environment Committee, which consists of 10 members, uh, councillors Morton, Allen, Parry, Martin, Firkin, Hemsley, Duffy, Holland, Rogan, and Wesley. The full council, which consists of 20 members, uh, consists of all 20 councillors. The strategy group, which also has 20 members, also consists of all 20 uh, councillors. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Douglas, may I have a second of that proposal, please? Councillor Martin. Yes, Mr. Mayor, um, I would like to second that proposal. Thank you very much indeed. Um, 
Are there any, uh, well, uh, nominations? No, so everybody's uh, right. May I have a vote on the, on the uh, proposed names for the council's committees, please? That's it, thank you, that's carried. Okay, item number six, uh, chair and vice chair of the committees. Um, can I have nominations for the appointment of the chairman and the vice chairman or the chair and the vice chair of the committees, please? Um, good evening, Mr. Mayor and congratulations um, on your appointment to the Mayor of Congleton. I'm looking forward to lots of exciting events. I'm sure there's gonna be another triathlon. I'm sure you'd like to do that. So to um, on with the evening's business. Um, I'd like to call for nominations for the appointment of chair and vice chair of committees. I propose that the following members be appointed. Uh, Finance and Policy Committee, the chair to be Councillor Douglas, vice chair to be Councillor Chadwick. The Community Environment Committee, the Chair to be Councillor Wesley and the Vice Chair to be Councillor Holland. The Town Hall and Assets Committee, the Chair to be Councillor Firkin and the Vice Chair to be Councillor Hayes. The Personnel Committee, the Chair to be Councillor Brown and the Vice Chair to be Councillor Smith. The Planning Committee, the Chair to be Councillor Duffy and the Vice Chair to be Councillor Martin and the Strategy committee um, to the chair to be the mayor, yourself, Mr. Mayor, and the deputy mayor, Councillor Gartside. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Aker-Smith. May I have a seconder for that proposal, please? I'd like to second that proposal. Thank you, Councillor Smith. Uh, any further nominations? No? No, thank you. May I have a vote for this uh, proposal, please? Yeah. yeah, thank you very much indeed. That's approved. Item number seven on the agenda. Uh, I'm calling for nominations to the appointment of members to the working groups. Uh, Councillor Wesley, I believe you're proposing this. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Yes, I would like to propose the following working groups for the coming year. Uh, the Green Group, Councillors Gartside, Martin, Martin Amies, Firkin, Rogan and Wesley. The Integrated Transport Working Group, Councillors Akers Smith, Firkin, Gartside, Martin, Wesley, Brown, and Duncan Amies. The White Ribbon Working Group, Councillors Hemsley, Wesley, Rogan, and Douglas. The Health and Wellbeing Working Group, Councillors Allen, Brown, Firkin, Gartside, Rogan, and Wesley. The Market Working Group, Councillors Brown, Martin Amies, Douglas and Martin. The Regeneration Working Group, Councillors Chadwick, Wesley, Brown, Firkin, Douglas and Morton. The Town Hall Development Group, Councillors Firkin, Gartside, Douglas, Chadwick, Hemsley and Brown. The Streetscape Development Group, Councillors Gartside, Martin Amies, Douglas, Brown, Duncan Amies and Martin. The planning development group, including the neighbourhood plan, councillors Duffy, Martin, Duncan Amies, Wesley and Brown. The antisocial behaviour working group, councillors Wesley, Martin, Morton, Murphy and Allen. The In Bloom working group, councillors Brown and Gartside. The Cenotaph working group, councillors Douglas, Murphy and Smith and the 750th Charter Year Working Group, councillors Brown, Akersmith, Firkin, Gartside, Morton, and Wesley. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Wesley. May I call on a uh, seconder, I believe, Councillor Firkin is uh, seconding this motion. Indeed, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it's my pleasure to second that proposal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. I go straight on. Uh, may I have a vote from the members on the named persons for the uh, working groups. That looks all in favor. Right. All in favor, that's carried. Thank you very much. Moving on, uh, item number eight, 
appointment of panels and check signatories. Um, I'd like to call for the required number of councillors to serve on the following panels and specific councillors to sign as check signatories. I believe Councillor Chadwick is proposing this motion. Uh, Mayor, I would like to propose the following panels, uh, members and councillors. Panel, complaints panel, members five, councillors, mayor, deputy mayor, and one councillor selected from each group. Panel, selection panel for the co-option of a councillor, five members consisting of mayor, deputy mayor, and one councillor selected from each group. Panel, sig uh, check signatories, any two from six, six members, councillors Brown, Martin, Parry, Chadwick, Murphy and Douglas. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Chadwick. I believe there's a seconder. Is it Councillor Hayes? Uh, yes, Mr Mayor. I uh, second as outlined by Councillor Chadwick. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, straight on. Uh, may I have a, a vote to accept those proposals? All in favour? Thank you very much indeed. Item number nine, appointment to outside bodies. Uh, I need to call for nominations for, of councillors for the outside bodies. I believe Councillor Smith is proposing this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to propose the following um, councillors to the following organisations. So the Congleton Museum Trust, councillors Wesley and Firkin. Congleton Partnership Executive, councillors Wesley and Martin. Hillary Avenue Allotments, Councillor Morton. Aspie Mayor Trust, Councillors Garside and Amy's. Chalk, Councillors Martin and the Mayor. Cheshire East Liaison, that will be the relevant ward councillors. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you, Councillor Smith. I believe Councillor Brown is seconding this motion. Yes, I'll do that with pleasure, Mr. Mayor. I sec so so second. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, straight on. May I have a vote for that proposal, please? All those in favour? Yes. Carried. Thank you very much indeed. Item number ten: appointment of other officers. Uh, nomination for the appointment of other officers. I believe it's Councillor Martin is proposing this. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I propose that um, our town crier should be Councillor Rob Morton, our deputy town crier, Councillor Paul Duffy, our mace bearer, Councillor Rob Morton again, and our deputy mace bearer, Councillor Paul Duffy again. Thank you. Thank you very much, indeed, Councillor Martin. As I believe Councillor Aker Smith, you're seconding this proposal. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. It is my greatest pleasure to second the proposal. I'm sure Councillor Morton will be an exemplary town crier and mace bearer. Thank you. Uh, may I have a vote on the proposal, please? Thank you very much, indeed. Um, item. Number 11, um, this is the announcement of the Mayor's Chaplain. Uh, Father William Kilkenny, who is unable to be with us this evening and has sent his apologies, uh, is, has agreed to be the Chaplain for the forthcoming year. And I'm very pleased that that is the case. Um, item number 12, uh, it relates to the civic service and the Sunday parade. Um, given the circumstances we are in at the moment and the uncertainty, uh, although I am confident that we will have a civic service sometime this year and the parade, I am unable to give you the precise dates at this time. Uh, right. Business done. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Need to prepare the meeting I, uh, yes. Uh, I would uh, therefore thank everybody who has joined us this evening. It's um, different to what we usually do and uh, 
usually afterwards we all adjourn, as you all know. Um, but hopefully that will come back into uh, uh, play as soon as uh, we are released from lockdown. So I formally declare the meeting closed. Thank you very much.